Hey, what's up, everybody? So I was going through my piles of infinite shit in here, trying to find stuff to box away to put into my storage room. I've been to run into a power supply that I've been looking for, and I'm pretty sure I haven't shown you guys, and it's one that definitely <laughs> I scored on, man. Very hard voltage to find in the way of an aftermarket power supply. Anyways, this has to do with Model 2 and television. And since I got two of them now, the second one I picked up had the original power supply. And the reason it's an absolute bitch to find. And by the way, the test these, if you can find one that fits that's DC, these will run off of 12 volts. Just to test it, and it will run good, like, no problem, but it's not good for it. You can damage the system if you do it too much. As, uh, it's not 12 volt. The output on this is AC 16.7 volts. Anyways. Here's what the original power supply looks like. And another thing that's a bitch. The little pin that sticks out of the system that goes into the end of this, extra thick. So it's hard enough to find one to where this jack will even fit, especially on a 12 volt. But a year or so ago, and got it at the thrift store for a buck, happened to find this. And what's crazy when I look it up on eBay is uh, it may be just as hard to find one of these. A lot of stuff for cell phones or just regular home phones or whatever. Just the little power supplies. Anyways, this looks like a Genesis adapter for a Model 1 with a cord on each end. It has those little grip things on the side. Nice. So it looks like... One thick cord, and then skinny one, and the plug here fits the Model 2 beautifully. Anyways, it's made by Thompson. The stock number is 242225, AC adapter, Class 2 transformer, input 120. Volt AC, 60 hertz, 35 watt. Output, 16 volt DC, 1000 MA. Can't see. I don't know if this Intellivision one shows the polarity or not. Nope, it doesn't. Anyways, the polarity is positive to the core, negative to the shielding. The core being the inside of this for the little pin that goes in it and then outside shielding which is that negative and on that 16.7 that was another I don't know why they did that which is weird it runs beautifully off this and 16 volt plenty so the 0.7 like I said it's pretty meaningless I cannot remember what site if I find it I will leave the link for it here but I know there's one that sells aftermarket power supplies for the Intellivision 2 because I just checked eBay all I found was one Intellivision 2 system that was modded that obviously had the power supply but no actual power supply by itself but usually looking at around 20 bucks plus the shipping or whatnot if you find one no guarantee if it's gonna work so this is just another brand that you guys can look up. I will put all the specs into the description for it for anybody that's got a Model 2. Otherwise, like I say, man, if you got one that you just picked up without a power supply and you don't know if it works, it can work off of 12 volts if you can find one that fits. Which, once again, you want to have that same polarity and make sure it's 12 volt DC. Either that or you can possibly use one of the variable ones if you can find one of the old school ones that will fit this, which most of them do. It's just same thing, something you got to find at a thrift store.
I'm talking about the old school variable adapters where it's got the plus sign of different size jacks and then they usually have one hanging off of it for 9 volt. So, definitely my last vid for the night. <laughs> Another short one, but had to show it to you guys because that's definitely a rarity there to find one that's 16 volt that works. Catch you all later.